the remnant, sons and daughters of God, pressing into the Lord, trying to enrich the inner man. You know, I had two sons. Uh, they both passed away on the same day. Uh, January 29th, 2010. So, it's getting close to almost 11 years. But then not a day that goes by that I don't think of those guys, I hear their voices. You know, tomorrow's really not promised to any of us. I mean, they were 23 years old and uh, 25 years old. And, you know, one of them knew he was going to die. He, he had a something wrong with his heart and he was in and out of the hospital all the time and and he did, even died a few times he probably died about three or four times when he came back so um, he knew he was going to die so he was prepared with the lord he was born again he was saved and he may have even met jesus i don't know you know most, a lot of people meet jesus when they die but uh, i don't know if he did or not but I, 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 he was born again. And he'll tell you with the quickness about the Lord uh, in his hospital bed. Or even when he's not in, when it wasn't in his hospital bed. So, he's with the Lord now. Yeah. He, uh, he passed away in the morning. And then his brother um, was shot in the back later that day by the police. He had his hands up. It was, it was a brutal assassination. You know, I, di I didn't know, I mean, I, I didn't know what types of things that he was involved with. And, and I, I hope that he reached out to the Lord in his final breath or before that. You know, but I, I don't know. You know, tomorrow is not promised to anybody. So we, we need to all be ready to go because I, don't, I highly doubted if, if, that he knew that he was going to die that day. You know, he was involved in, um, I, found, I found this stuff out later. He, no one ever told me. It was right there in front of my face, but he, um, I should have been able to pick it up, but I couldn't see it. He was a, a, a leader of a gang of uh, Crips uh, with hundreds of members. He started this gang when he was uh, like 12 or 11 or whatever. And over the years, it just grew and grew and grew. I had no clue. I didn't know. And um, I, he was, uh, um, I think he was um, a uh, big drug dealer in Portland. He was growing, he was getting larger uh, um, with the money and the, I don't, I'm not sure what drug it is, but I, my, I suspect it was cocaine or crack or something like that, your drug houses and stuff like that. I found this uh, stuff after he died. No one's actually ever told me this. I just kind of just, it just comes to me, you know, pieces of the puzzle that kind of fit together and, um, and so he was shot in the back by the police. And um, for in this particular city, the police, they actually, not, not all police do this and not all cities do this, but in this particular city, the police actually supply the drugs to the drug dealers. They, uh, they run the drug uh, game as such. And uh, if you don't play their game, if you don't buy the drugs for them, if you don't, you know, do what, if you're not involved with them, they eliminate you. So that's a possibility. He was assassinated by the police. They knew him very well. And they didn't have much on him. He put him in jail a few times and tried, on some charges or whatever, and he always got out. But they, in this particular city, they, uh, the police know um, the people very well. They keep tabs on the people. They knew me when I lived in this city. They searched my car 
when I wasn't in it. <laughs> One night, I parked and ran into my mother's house and uh, came out and then drove down the street. They pulled me over. They knew my name and told me that they searched my car while I was in my mother's house. So there's some corrupt people out there. But I know this doesn't happen in every city, but there's a lot of cities that uh, do this sort of thing. But the bottom line is, you know, we, we should all be ready. We should know where we're going. You know, we are the remnant. We're the sons and daughters of the guy, God, children of the Most High, the creator of the universe. And we should know, we should be looking forward to our futures with the Lord. Not so much here on earth. I mean, it's okay to look forward to your future here on earth. What's going to happen when you graduate from here? You know. And, I, you know, I, we're all going to graduate. We're all going to go someplace. Forever. We're obviously, so none of us really ever die. I mean, for the body will do its thing and to stay here, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, rot riding those caskets and stuff. But we're going to go somewhere else forever. Billions of years. Me, myself, I'm looking forward to um, maybe martyrdom. If it comes to, they'll probably kill me. They, they know me. We, <coughs> the New World Order knows me. The One World Government knows me. The Antichrist devils, demons, they know me very well. I got a YouTube channel that talks about God, so they know me. And I'm not going to hide from them when they come looking for me. I might run from them. <laughs> but, you know, if they want my head, they can have it. Because the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for me. He suffered such a long time, many, many, many hours. You know, he put a crown on his head that made his his head bleed, and I was like, you know, I, I touched one of those crowns one time, and the the, the thorns on the, in that crown, oh my God, they are so sharp, and they pre they pressed it into his skull. You know, they made him carry that three hundred pound cross for I don't know, could have been a mile, and he was exhausted, and they were beating him the entire time. So, and then, you know, he, he, they nailed him to the cross. And so, I'm willing to die for Jesus. If that's what he put me here for, I will fulfill my destiny. And, you know, we need to look into the future. And after that, you know, I'm going to be with him. I probably won't even feel any pain. You know, if they shoot me, if they cut my head off, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. They can have it. And I'll, I'll be saying God loves you the whole time. They're doing it. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And I'll be speaking in tongues. Also, too. So get in the habit of speaking in tongues, guys, for hours each day. Because, you know, when, when, the, when the tribulation comes, you, could, you might be here. World War III comes, you could possibly be here. And speaking in tongues will be your best. Uh, that's the spirit of the Lord. That's, that's, that, that is God speaking. It's the Lord speaking when you pray in tongues. You know, in, in fact, you know, I, I can give this short testimony. I, I heard a testimony yesterday of uh, people over in the Ukraine or, or Russia, you know, back uh, in the days of his, Hitler, the Hitler army captured them and they were getting ready to kill them all. They were going to shoot him. They said, we're going to shoot you. And so these were Christians. And you know what they all did? They all, the, the leader or one of the guys said, hey, everybody speak in tongues. They all started speaking in tongues. They were getting ready to get shot and killed. And they all started speaking in tongues. And you know what happened? <laughs> the German officers, they said, you guys can lead. They said, we're not going to shoot you. You guys can leave. You guys can go. And, and one of the people said, well, why? You know, he says, because 
when you were talking, you were speaking in German. <laughs> and you said, you said that we, we are, if you, if you kill us, you're going to die within one week because, and you're, you're, um, because our lives are di di directly connected to your life. <laughs> so the German soldiers let them go free. They're still alive today. Very old, but they're still alive. So speaking in tongues is a great thing to, to do, to get in the habit of doing. And not only that, but it grows, it growing the inner man uh, being fortified every single day with reading and praising and worshiping as much as you can. And talking to the Lord with your mind or with your mouth. And just putting him first in everything that you do. And encouraging your, you know, if you're around friends or family, encourage them to get saved. And, say, and pray for them. Even if, you know, if you just pray for them and just believe God that he'll save their souls one day. You'd be surprised how many people are going to come to the Lord that you'd never guess are going to come to the Lord. Just from somebody praying for them. And you may never see these people, but you'll see them in heaven. Go ahead and give a thumbs up on the channel. Do that real quick. We need to get every listener to give a thumbs up. We're going to do this short declaration here. And then I'm going to pray it. And you can pray out of the Bible. Try to pray every day. That, that helps your inner man grow. Your inner man is the spirit. That is your spirit. And um, This is Psalms 139, 7 through 10. Ready? Mm -hmm. Whither shall, shall I go from thy spirit? spirit? Or whither, whither shall, shall I go free from thy presence? presence? If I ascend, ascend up into heaven, heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. there. If I take, take my wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall guide me. If I so surely go. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross for us, Lord. We love you. And Lord, we live in repentance. And we all have things that we're working out within ourselves to get rid of because we know that it's possible that you might not be pleased with those things. So we're all working on those things. So we all repent. And we thank you for forgiving us of everything that we've ever done wrong. We're just doing the best that we can. We're pressing as hard as we can. And we're waiting for you to, to, to help us and lead us and guide us in certain things, in everything in our life. And Father, where can, where, where can we go from your presence, from your spirit? Nowhere. Because you're everywhere. You're stretched out across the universe. Some of us are in your, fin are in your hands, some of us are in your head, your heart, your legs, your torso, your arms. We're... You are everywhere. So anywhere we go, you are always there, always there. And we can always count on you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we can always talk to you. You always listen to us individually. And we thank you for leading us and guiding us. Because you're always there. And where, where can we flee? Where can we run? We can't go anywhere away from you. That's the thing. He says, if, I, if we ascend into heaven, you're there. If we make our beds in hell, you're also there. You're everywhere. And you're always going to be everywhere. And if, I, and if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, you're there. You're everywhere. Anywhere and everywhere all of the time. And we thank you for this. We thank you for loving us. Father, and, and even there shall the, uh, thy hand lead me and thy right hand hold me. And Father, we all pray that you lead us and that you continue to hold us. Give us a big hug, Father, each and every one of us right now. Hug us.
We thank you so much for everything that you're doing in our lives. It's tough and it's rough. But we're going to graduate with honors. At least we're going to try. Because we're looking forward to the future, eternity, being your kings, your queens, your sons, your daughters, your princes, your princesses, ruling the universe with you side by side. Be great. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, feed, shelter, and give fresh water to everyone in the world that needs it. And let every individual know that you love them very, very much. Save everybody. And keep them all once they're saved. Never, never let them slide back. Ever. Show them how to stay strong in Christ and you, Lord. We praise you, Lord, honor you, and glorify you forever and ever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, and Lord, and we thank you. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. We need all the thumbs ups we can get so uh, we can spread the word. Um, spreading the word as easy as get putting up a giving a like because it, it boosts the video and somebody may see it that, uh, that that needs to see it so you get a chance to spread the word of God just by giving a, a like we like other videos that have nothing to do with God so go ahead and like God's videos too not only for this channel but for others leave a comment if you like and definitely share uh, the videos with your friends and family have a great and on your social sites too have a great day. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.